Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Eric from Reconverting. In today's video, we're going to talk about the best practices when using Reconvert. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so you know whenever we go live or release new videos. Also, if you have any questions or comments, just make sure to comment them in the comment section below. We promise to answer everyone. Now, if you don't know what Reconvert is, Reconvert is the most popular upsell app on the Shopify platform trusted by more than 30,000 Shopify merchants. Not only that, we have a perfect rating of five out of five stars with over 2,500 reviews on the App Store. You can check it out. Now, the one thing you need to know when when you start using reconvert is you don't really have to worry about anything we got you covered and you can set it up with a single click we worked really hard to come up with a solution called magic designer to automatically match your brand look and feel and apply it to our upsells on the post purchase page and the thank you pages not only that it's going to include fonts it's going to include sizes it's going to include every other thing related to your design language and we make sure that it's going to look good right from the get-go another important thing you need to know about post purchase upselling in general is that you really want to offer the biggest discount you can offer your customers in order to get them reconverted and the reason for that is there is a good chance that your customer just placed an order there's a good chance he even used a different discount let's say you gave him 10% discount then in order to get them reconverted and upsell him post purchase it either needs to be a very personalized offer or it needs to be a bigger discount it is also important to create an urgency from the customer so he'll understand that this is a one-time offer and he's only going to see it once you do that by adding a timer to your post-purchase offers. Now, there are a bunch of other best practices like upselling the same product purchase and then downselling the same product purchase with bigger discount and, you know, distributing your discounts across the funnel and some things you can do on your thank you page like customer birthdays, conduct service, but we do all of that for you. So let's just jump into my screen. I'll show you how to set it up with a single click and then I'm going to let you know the rest of the things you need to know. Okay, so we are in reconvert. This is what the apps look like when you just installed the app. The first thing we need to know is first make sure that reconvert is defined as our post purchase upsell app on Shopify. Shopify only allow one app to do that. So let's just configure that by clicking here. Choose reconvert from the list and hit save. Perfect. Now I'm going to close this tab, click on check status and this is it. Now, in order to get started fast with a single click and automatically apply all the best practices that I just discussed, you just need to configure your max discount. And this is the biggest amount of percent discount you're willing to offer your customer post purchase to get them reconverted. And we will automatically distribute it across the entire funnel, which includes two post purchase offers and a fully optimized thank you page. And this is what it looks like. Now, let's say that the maximum amount of discount I can offer to my customers is 20%. You can see the discount change here in the description of this post purchase funnel. Now I'm just going to click publish and it's automatically going to be applied and reconvert is going to be live. By the way, if you don't want to do it right away, you can just click here on do it manually and again, pick the conversion monster. Then you can change the discount and create the funnel without really activating the app. Now, again, because we do recommend using our best practices funnel with quick activation, I'm just going to change my max discount to 20% and click publish. Perfect. And we are good to go. You now have everything you need to know and all the best practices are already implemented into your post-purchase upsell. You don't believe me? You want to see how good it is? All right, let's do it. I'm just going to close this pop-up. And as you can see here, this is my funnel. It's already live on my store. Just to let you know what is going on here. First of all, you got the trigger and the trigger is set to all orders because we do want to make sure that we display offers to all of our customers. This way we're going to optimize for extra revenue. So this is my trigger. The next thing is the first post purchase offer. This best purchase offer just uses half of my max discount. Now, since that was 20%, I'm going to display the same product purchase, purchase again with extra 10% discount. Let's see what it looks like. Perfect. As you can see, I'm offering the same product purchase for 10% off for the next five minutes only. This is how we implement urgency into our post-purchase offers. Now I'm going to close this one. Let's assume that someone accepts this offer. We're going to display another product recommended by Shopify recommendations algorithm with the max discount, which is 20% off, but we're only going to let the customer three minutes to decide whether or not he's going to pick this offer. This is what it's going to look like. Again, very similar because this is a dynamic product. So we just display skeleton data. But as you can see, we thought you may also like this product. Add it to your order now for 20% off and it got 
three minutes only to accept or decline this offer. Now, if you decline the first offer, which was 10% discount on the same product purchased, we're going to display again the same product purchased as a downsell with the max discount, which is 20%. And again, this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to display the same product purchased again with 20% off. And we're going to say one last chance, take it for 20% off. And you will be amazed with how well it works. Now, it might be counterintuitive to you and you might say, hey, why should I display the same product purchased to the same customer and do it twice? I don't know why, but it works. It works for over 30,000 Shopify stores. I suggest try it out. You'll be amazed with how well it works. And if it doesn't, you can try other things. You can really do everything with this app. All right, now moving on to your thank you page. We've created a thank you page called Conversion Monster. We kept optimizing it for the past three years or so, and we keep optimizing it all the time to make sure that you're only getting the best of the best. So what do we have in this Conversion Monster thank you page? First of all, on the left side, we're going to display some product recommendations for the customer to pick from. Maybe he would like to add it to his order. On the top right side, we're going to display our birthday collector. Customers are going to be able to give you their birthday Birthday, and then you can sync it to all of your favorite autoresponders such as Clavio, MailChimp, SMS Bump, etc. And then you can send your customers happy wishes and maybe a discount on their birthday. Great opportunity to get them back. Below that, again, we're going to display the same product purchase with an additional discount because it works. And sometimes customers will come back to the thank you page for the second and third time, you know, when Shopify send them transactional emails such as shipping confirmation, order confirmation, order delivered confirmation. And actually during this time, they might get converted. So you do want to keep displaying the same product purchase. On the left side, we're going to display an order tracking widget that will allow customers to track their orders from the thank you page. Now, don't worry, this is a smart widget and it's not going to be displayed unless there is a tracking number available for that order. Below that, we're going to have social sharing widgets that will allow your customer to share their order on social media. You can also include discount in this case, but we don't do it automatically for you. And the last thing we're going to add is a pop-up with a time-sensitive offer that is going to provide the max amount of discount as you defined at the beginning for the next 20 minutes only for the entire store. Now, again, these things work. You can really change it. You can really mix it up, change it however you want. But I'm telling you, if you test this method, it's going to work for you. You just need to use the quick activation method. Few last best practices you need to be aware of when it comes to reconvert. First of all, integrations. If you get back to the reconvert dashboard, you can head over to the settings page where you can integrate your birthday subscription with your favorite autoresponders. You can add more than one integration. You can also add an integration to your favorite reviews apps that will allow you to display star reviews below your product recommendations and product upsells during the post-purchase experience. Another awesome integration we have is with Shopify Flow. It's an app that's only available for Shopify Plus stores and it acts like a Zapier for Shopify only. It's very cool. It will allow you to create a lot of automations based on what happens on reconvert. Another cool thing you can do with reconvert is just make sure to add your upsells to the original order. You can do that through order settings and then just add items to the original order. It's important to know that this feature has some limitations. So watch the whole video just to understand what's going on exactly. All right. There's also an option to automatically tag and add order notes to orders generated by reconvert. You can also do that below. So these are some of the things you need to know about reconvert. One final thought when it comes to optimization and best practices, and this is something you can only know about your store, and this is personalization and segmentation. We've created a system called triggers that allow you to display different offers and different thank you pages to different customers based on certain conditions. So you can really mix it up and create different funnels. Let me just show you some examples. Now, as you can see here, I have an empty funnel. By default, the trigger is on all orders, but if you want, you can really change it to customer information, use anything from the details above, and there is really limitless less options. So let's say that I want to display this order for customers who spent more than $200 and bought a specific product. And again, this is from product options. And I want to display it only for people who bought this product. Or I only want to display it to orders where the shipping method was UPS and really create a personalized and customized experience for your customers. Make sure to do that when you see it necessary, but otherwise make sure to have a fallback funnel for the rest of the orders. Okay. And this is very important. You really want to display offers. Always try to avoid having empty thank you pages and customers without post-purchase offers. This way you really want to squeeze the most out of your customers. Okay, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. You now know everything you need to know about the best practices when it comes to reconvert. If you like the video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment them in the comment section below. We will make sure to answer each and every one of you. If you need further help, there is the live chat button at the bottom right corner of the screen inside the app and we're available for you 24-7. Thank you so much. Go use reconvert, generate extra revenue. I'll see you on the next video.
Bye.